Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to paint a gingerbread spoon, kind of like we did the snowman spoon. I got the spoon from the same place, which is a flea market. First thing I'm going to do is give it a few coats of milk chocolate brown paint, and I'm going to let that dry in between coats. I think I did three coats on this. Once that was fully dry, I'm going to take my paintbrush, I'm going to flip it over and put two dots of black for his eyes. Next, I am going to take a very thin paintbrush and I'm going to take some red paint and make an oval right underneath his eyes and I'm going to do that as a sideways oval and this is going to be his nose. I'm going to make sure that's all filled in and as even as I can possibly get it. it doesn't have to be completely perfect. Once I had the nose all on I am going to use the same skinny paintbrush and I'm going to make his mouth so I'm just going to do two little half circles and then make his mouth kind of like a squiggly line. And how cute already. Next I'm going to take some more of that black paint and do a couple of eyebrows, one above each eye. Next I'm going to take a little bit of the color red that I did for the nose and give him some rosy cheeks. So I'm just using a paintbrush that was kind of ruined and just dry brushing some of that red on. I'm going to do that right where I put those half circles on his mouth. Once I have that all done, I'm going to take some white and do a squiggly line at the very top for his frosting. Then I'm going to do another small line right on the top of the nose. And then three little dots on either side of his mouth where the red is on his cheeks. Then again, using the white with this very, very thin brush, I'm going to add two dots for his eyes. And that is it for his face. Next, I'm going to take some holographic illusions, which is just a glitter paint. And I'm going to add that all over his face once everything was fully dry. When you do the dots for the nose, the eyes, they kind of stay wet for a while, so make sure everything's fully dry before you do this part. You could use any kind. You could use Sparkle Mod Podge, the Holographic Illusions, the Enchanted Shimmer, whatever that you have on hand. Next, I'm going to take some wire, and I'm going to wrap it at the very base of the spoon handle, and I'm just going to wrap it around a bunch of times in that one spot. Just kind of keep going around, and this is just some rusty wire. Once I have it wrapped around as many times as I want, I'm going to kind of go up the handle with it. And then stop right before the end of the handle and start wrapping again on top of each other. And just keep going till I have it how I want it. And then I'm going to leave a little bit at the end around the back. And then fold it over for a little hook for it to hang. And how cute is he so far? Next, I'm going to take some ticking fabric that I had. It's red and white, and it's been coffee dyed. I'm going to tie that around the center, and this is pretty much just the same way we did the snowman. Tie that around the center, then cut off the excess, and then I'm going to add a rusty bell and a rusty safety pin right to the center of that. So I'm just going to push that safety pin through. And then add my bell and then close it up and this is done. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I also love the way the snowman spoon turned out. If you missed that video, it's in my video list. This is just such a super cute and easy project and these make amazing ornaments for your tree. How adorable is this? I also show another one where I added a tag that I painted that well, I didn't do on camera, but just to give you an idea that you can add a tag to it also. And I think they're just so stinking cute. I hope this inspires you to make one. Thank you for watching.